Welcome back students. Today in this session we are going to discuss about law of conservation of energy which is a universal law and the law states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can, it can be converted from one form to another. Uh, this is the statement of law of conservation of energy. It means that irrespective of whatever process or whatever events takes place, energy can never be destroyed or never be created. We can only transfer energy, we can only convert energy from one form to another. Okay, uh, no energy can be created or no energy can be destroyed. We can only convert one form of energy into a different form of energy. This is law of conservation of energy or in simple words we can say that total energy of a system always remains constant. Total energy of a system always remains the same. To understand this law, let us consider an example of a freely falling body. Okay. So, consider an example of a freely falling body body. Uh, in the chapter gravitation, we have already dealt with free fall. Free fall is an object which fall only under the influence of gravity. So, no other forces are acting over there. It is falling down only under the influence of gravity. So, we are considering a freely falling object. Suppose an object which was initially at point A. Consider an object at a height at a point A. So, initially the point was at, the object was at A, which is at a height from the ground. So, this is the ground. Initially, the object is at a height at point A from the ground. Uh, it is at a height H from the ground ground. Okay. So, since the object is at rest, initially the object is at rest. So, at point A, the object is at rest. Object is at rest since the object is at rest, its velocity will be 0. Therefore, we know kinetic energy is half m v square. Since velocity of that object is 0, kinetic energy will be also 0. So, kinetic energy of this object when it is at, when it is at a point A is 0. Now, we know that the object is at a height from the ground. So, the object will possess maximum kinetic energy which is equal to m g h where m is the mass of the object, g is the acceleration due to gravity and h is the height of the object from the ground. So, when the object is at A, potential it, the object experiences maximum potential energy which is equal to m g h. Kinetic energy of that object will be 0 since the object is at rest. Therefore, total energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy which is equal to mgh plus 0 which is equal to mgh. So, when the object is at point A, since the object is at rest, its velocity will be 0. Hence, its kinetic energy will be according to the equation half mv square. Its kinetic energy will be also 0 since velocity is 0. Since the object is at a height, it will possess a maximum potential energy which is equal to mgh. So, to find the total energy of this object, when it is at point A, it is potential energy plus kinetic energy. That is mgh plus 0 which is equal to mgh. Now, suppose 
the object is descending downwards the object is descending downwards the object is descending down okay so as the object descends down as the object descends down its velocity will increase as the object moves down from a height its velocity will increase and we know that the formula to find kinetic energy is half mv square so if velocity increases kinetic energy also increases so if velocity increases kinetic energy also increases according to the equation kinetic energy is equal to half mv square now as a body descends down its height will get reduced its height will get reduced as it moves down towards the ground its height will get reduced now according to the equation potential energy is equal to mgh as height gets reduced its potential energy also will get reduced so at a point c at a point c as the body descends to point c its velocity increases since its velocity increases its kinetic energy will also increase and as the object descends down its height decreases hence its potential energy also decreases so in the midway between a and b kinetic energy increases from zero to a value and potential energy starts decreasing and this increasing kinetic energy and decreasing potential energy keeps the total energy the same uh, this increasing kinetic energy and pot uh, decreasing potential energy will balance the total energy and hence the total energy remains the same now consider the object on reaching point b on reaching point b it has reached ground so height has reduced to zero so height is zero here so potential energy is mg h so the formula to find potential energy is mg h on reaching ground height of the object is zero therefore potential energy will be also zero and on reaching ground the velocity will be maximum so kinetic energy will be maximum which is equal to half mv square which is equal to half mv square so the total energy will be kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to half mv square plus 0 which is equal to half mv square so from this example it is clear that sometimes the total energy is completely potential sometimes the total energy is completely kinetic sometimes the total energy is partially kinetic and partially potential whatever the situation is total energy always remains the same that is when the object is at a height it has a maximum potential energy of mgh and since the object is at rest its kinetic energy is zero its kinetic energy is zero so total energy at that point is total energy at that point is potential energy plus kinetic energy which is equal to mgh which is completely potential now at point b when the object reached the ground height is reduced to zero so potential energy is also zero but when it reaches the ground it hit the ground with maximum velocity so kinetic energy will be maximum which is equal to half mv square so total energy is kinetic energy plus potential energy which is equal to half mv square which is completely kinetic and in the midway as the body descends down its velocity will increase when velocity increases according to the formula kinetic energy is equal to half mv square 
when velocity increases kinetic energy also increases and as the body is descending down its height will decrease so according to the formula potential energy is equal to mgh when height starts decreasing potential energy also decreases so in the midway the total energy is partially kinetic and partially potential and a total energy remains constant so in whatever position the object is total energy remains constant at point a total energy is completely potential completely potential and at point b total energy is completely kinetic and in mid points the midway the total energy is partially kinetic and partially potential but the point to be remembered is uh, the total energy always remains the same uh, and we can see that at when the object was at point a the object only possessed kinetic energy now as it moves down the object is having partial kinetic energy and partial potential energy and when it reached ground it only possessed kinetic energy that means the potential energy got converted into kinetic energy when it reached the ground the initial potential energy when the object was at a height got converted into kinetic energy when it reached the ground that is one form of energy is converted into another form that is potential energy got converted into kinetic energy energy is neither created nor destroyed one form is converted into another form here potential energy is not destroyed and kinetic energy is not created but potential energy got converted into kinetic energy thus making the total energy a constant that is total energy that is total energy which is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy always remains a constant that is half mv square plus mgh always remains a constant this is the mathematical formula for law of conservation of energy that is only conversion of one form to another form of energy takes place the total energy always remains constant uh, this is the law of conservation of energy now let us look on to certain other examples now when you switch on a fan what will happen when we when you switch on a fan okay when you switch on a fan the electrical energy will pass through the wires and reaches the fan and the the blade of the fan starts rotating so there the electrical energy spent is converted into since the fan is rotating it will be having kinetic energy because the fan is moving the blades of the fan is moving that means it possesses kinetic energy so the electrical energy got converted into kinetic energy uh, so the electrical energy is not lost it got just converted into kinetic energy now similarly what happens when you switch on a light or a bulb uh, what happens is there also the electrical energy when you switch on the light the bulb glows and after sometimes the bulb gets heated up so there the electrical energy spent is converted into light and heat energy the electrical energy spent over there is not lost it only got converted into light and heat energy now in case of a windmill uh, as wind blows the windmill gets rotated and uh, this rotation of windmill is converted into and that is used to generate electricity so there as wind blows the windmill gets rotated so the windmill possess kinetic energy and finally that kinetic energy of the windmill was converted into electrical energy so the wind uh, the kinetic energy is not lost it just got converted into electrical energy 
Now similarly in the case of hydroelectric power generation, we use water to generate electricity. So initially when the water is stored in a dam, it is possessing a potential energy. Now as the water starts flowing, this potential energy got converted into kinetic energy. Again, this flowing water starts rotating the turbine. And the rotating tur from the rotating turbine, we generate electricity. So the kinetic energy of water rotated the turbine and as a result, we got electrical energy. So in, in case of hydroelectric generators, potential energy got converted into kinetic energy and finally got converted into electrical energy. So energy is neither destroyed nor created. It is just converted from one form to another. Hope the topic law of conservation of energy is clear for everyone. We are winding up the session. Thank you.